there are a lot of partners who want to help with really good habitat projects where we've really gone out and made a difference for fish and wildlife habitat and that's the key is bringing partners together because these projects sometimes are very expensive and very difficult to do on, on our own or, or by any one partner. So by pooling of our resources, frankly, sharing technical information and technical talent, those all play together into the mix of really coming up with great habitat projects that really benefit the fish and wildlife. Uh, whenever this, how this project came about is that uh, the city of Corpus Christi, uh, through their um, agreed order and pass-through requirements, uh, they have to pump a certain amount of fresh water through the pipeline. And so what would happen before this structure is being put in, half of the water being pumped into the Rincon, Rincon Bayou would actually just go back to the river rather than downstream to the Rincon or through the marsh. Through a series of salinity monitoring stations down the Rincon Bayou, we'll be able to determine the effect of that fresh water. Once the full effect of the fresh water has been captured, the gates will be open, so it will allow for you know, biological movement from the Nueces River to the Rincon Bayou. Typically when the pumps are running, uh, we run one pump and it's capable of delivering about 100 acre feet a day into the Rincon Bayou. So typically the delivery time takes about you know, 20 to 30 days. We usually like to deliver 2,000 to 3,000 acre feet during a pumping event. What we have here behind us is a freshwater inflow management structure on the Rincon Bayou. It's consisting of three sluice gates. So those are gates that can be raised and lowered to help uh, manage the water level inside the Rincon Bayou. The two main goals we have for this project and that is being able to uh, get salinity gradients right throughout the Nueces Delta. Uh, so you have fresh water uh, and all the way to brackish and then marine water. So the salinity gradient of zero parts per thousand from the river all the way out to you know, your marine waters out to the Gulf. Um, uh, the next is connectivity. So we have a shallow water system here uh, where you have bowls kind of set up uh, throughout the system where it goes from tidal flats to wetlands and so as these uh, the water is pumped out into the Nueces Delta these kind of bowls fill up out here and you're allowing uh, the water levels to get up to a certain point where shrimp, crabs and fish are able to get back up into these important nursery areas. There's no way that the estuary program would be able to do this project on our own so you know with help from the Coastal uh, Conservation Association uh, we also have partners with the City of Corpus Christi uh, everybody working together, we, we're able to uh, make this type of project happen where we can benefit not only uh, the Nueces Delta and, uh, and, and the freshwater inflows coming into it, uh, but all the, all the important other aspects that go along with that. Shrimp, uh, fish, uh, recreational fishing, and it all kind of ties in together. You know, we got some great partners uh, besides the local NGOs like uh, CCA. You know, we do a lot of work, uh, this project in particular here on the Rincon Bayou. Our friends at the Coastal Management Program at the Texas General Land Office, their partners at the U.S. government, NOAA, and, and just a whole assortment of other partners, EPA, Texas Commission on Environmental Quality, uh, Texas Parks and Wildlife, we all work together and try to make good things happen to protect and restore the, the natural resources here in our bays and estuaries. It's a good project. It wouldn't be possible without the support of CCA.